Hi, hi, welcome. I am Sari Lavender and I hope you're having a lovely day. So, welcome back to the Structured TBR videos. Uh, this is going to be the TBR for August. Um, obviously there's no wrap up for July because I'm pretty sure I only read one book and I didn't even read it in whole. So yes, I will say the TBR is extremely optimistic, like always. So I don't actually know if I'll get through it all, but I mean, I'd like to try. I'd really, I'd like to try. So. First things first, obviously, is the book that I was reading in July, which is Emma by Jane Austen. This follows our main character, Emma Woodhouse, who is a rich, beautiful, witty girl who lives in a town in England. It follows the town and how all of the characters get into different relationships, all the romances and just the relationships within the town, who isn't liking who or what sort of time. So yes, at the moment I am 52% of the way through on page 262 out of 470. Now the next few books are books that I have not hauled yet. Um, I am intending to do a haul in one of my upcoming vlogs. Just have to wait on all of the books I am hauling to actually arrive. So here's a little sneak peek preview. First of all, we have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is a book that I have to read for one of my university courses. So that's why it's on the list because I have to, I have to read it. That is also why it's so high on the list. Um, so yes, Frankenstein. I'm not sure if I know much about this. I know it's gothic and it follows a scientist who creates life and the life turns out to be a monster. I believe. Um, this is a gorgeous copy, it's a Barnes & Noble copy, it's got a soft hardcover and then sprayed edges and obviously the ribbon bookmark. Okay, the next book is also another university book and that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Again, I'm going into it actually knowing nothing except that we are classing it as speculative fiction. And I'm pretty sure that most of the things that happened in this book actually happened sometime during history because I remember seeing Margaret Atwood say that somewhere. The last book, sorry, the next book is the last book that I think I have left that is, has been unhauled and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I picked this up mainly because it's the hardback and it was really decently priced for being a young adult hardback or a hardback in general hardbacks here can be nearly $40 paperback so $20 and this was $25 for the hardback um without the dust jacket it, it doesn't really look like much um but it does have like the shimmery foiled dust jacket and it's a hardcover so really I can't complain um I'm again not a hundred percent sure what this is. It's fantasy, um, the blurb uh, follows that all sorcerers are evil. So yeah, I'm definitely interested and I think it's a gorgeous cover. So Sorcery of Thorns. This is probably the biggest book I'd suggest on my TBR. So Okay, the next book is the fourth book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series. So obviously I caught A Frost and Starlight. This is the fourth book or the novella which comes forth in the series. Uh, the series initially follows Feyre Archeon who is a teenaged girl who is out hunting for her family when she accidentally uh, shoots and kills a fae that was uh, described that was transformed into a wolf um, and then she is pulled into the uh, country of the Fae which is above the wall um, to live out the rest of her life as in a life for a life sort of thing. So yes we have the novella in that series. I just want to continue on and this one's nice and quick um, in comparison to A Court of Wings and Ruin and then A Court of Silver Flames. So get onto that whilst I can. 
The sixth book is a recent hold one, and that is The Betrayed by Kiera Cass. This is the second book in the Betrothed series, which follows our main character, Hollis, who is being courted by the king, and that's as much as I can really get into without spoilers. So The Betrayed is obviously the second book, um, and I just wanted to know what happens. I didn't love the first book. But I do still want to know what happens to Hollis and the country and cities and all that. And last but not least on this list is a reread, and that is My Life as a Hashtag by Gabrielle Williams. This is an Australian book and it is set in Melbourne, which is the city that I am from. And it follows a, our main character who gets really annoyed and angry at one of her friends, so posts something online and it goes viral and blows up and suddenly she's in this whole lot of trouble. So yeah, uh, it's definitely, it's young adult. Um, if you can't tell by the colors, it definitely has a lot to do with social media, but I think I've read it twice already before and I enjoyed it. And it is just one of those rereads that I need to get to, to rank them on Goodreads. So in total, my page count for the month comes to 1,972, which leaves me with 63 pages to read a day, which I think is definitely doable. 63, well, 67 pages is honestly not too bad, um, given the stack. <laughs> so I think that I will actually have a decent chance of finishing this as long as I stay on track with Emma and don't get too caught up with everything else that is going on. So I'll just hold the stack up. There we go. Woo. All those dark colours and then you get to the bottom too. <laughs> it just goes bright. This is right in my face. Wow. So yes, those, that is my stack. That was a really nice quick video. It's going to be lovely for me to edit given I'm a bit busy with university. But hey, we did it. Um, keep an eye out for all my vlogs while you will see where I'm up to all the videos. It is the 3rd of August so my page count will be going up because I've definitely not read 63 pages of all these. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did please consider liking or subscribing to see more of my content. In my description you will find a link to all the seven books as well as my socials if you would like to follow me there at all. And yes, that is it. I So I will see you in the next one. I hope you are having a lovely day. If not, that your day gets somewhat better and improves. And I will see you all soon. Bye! Let's run away together.